This is a stimulus update and daily news report. Got some important updates to share with you. President Biden lays out his plan to end U.S. hunger by 2030. I'll play you a short clip of his speech, exactly what he said. SNAP emergency benefits are extended in certain states for October. I'll let you know which states are doing that. When it comes to stimulus, you could still be owed $3,600 from unclaimed $3.7 billion pot, how to claim it. And then also hundreds of thousands of Americans can receive a direct payment worth up to $650. And President Biden, during his speech, tried to reach out to a dead congresswoman. I want to get your opinion on that, and I'll give you some other important updates as well. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. If you appreciate the fact-based, fast-based updates, hit the like button down below, and I want to get your opinion on this. So where's Jackie? Biden asks if deceased lawmaker is at the White House event. So I'm curious what you think about this. So a little backstory, uh, Representative Jackie Walorski passed away in a car accident a few months ago, and or actually last month, and President Biden actually put out a statement about her passing, but yet at this event asking for her. I'm really curious, is this cause for concern or was this an innocent mistake? Take a look at this video clip and I want to get your opinion. Now, an awkward moment at the White House today. President Biden gave a shout out to a congresswoman that he thought was there. But one problem, she died last month. President Biden is raising eyebrows today after this embarrassing moment. At a White House ceremony on hunger, he called out the name of a congresswoman. Problem is, she's dead. Representative Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I didn't think she was, she was going to be here. Jackie is the late congresswoman from Indiana, Jackie Walorski, who was killed in a car accident in August with two young staffers. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre was asked about the episode at the regular briefing today. The president appeared to look around the room uh, for an audience member, a member of Congress who passed away last month. He seemed to indicate she might be in the room. So what happened? The president was naming uh, the congressional champions on this issue and was acknowledging her incredible work. She was on his mind. She was of top of mind. Representative Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I didn't think she was, she was going to be here. So I'm really curious, what do you think about that? Was that an innocent mistake? He just wasn't sure and then kind of realized it at the moment and tried to brush it off? Or do you think he actually forgot? Should we be concerned about President Biden's you know, mental state? What, do, what are your thoughts on that? Or is this just nothing, just brushed it off, people paying too much attention to it? Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Uh, but later on in this speech, so Biden lays out plan to end hunger in the U.S. by 2030. Administration officials announced more than $8 billion in private and public sector commitments to advance goals of ending hunger and reducing diet-related diseases. So I'll give you more details on the other side, but take a look at what President Biden has to say about it. I really do know we can do this. End hunger in this country by the year 2030 and lower the toll. <laughs> lower the toll that diet-related diseases takes on for too many Americans. This goal is within our reach. Just look at how far we've come on child poverty. 30 years ago, as was referenced, one in four children lived below the poverty line. Today, one in 20 live below the poverty line. So I know we can take tackle hunger as well. And I've released a national strategy to meet that bold goal. The strategy that has three key, three key principles. First, help more Americans. So this again, help more Americans access the food that will keep their families nourished and healthy. A lot of food deserts out there. Second, Give folks the option and information they need to make healthy dietary choices. Thirdly, help more Americans be physically active. Uh, people want to be, lots of times there's no places to go to be active from where they live. What are your thoughts on that? World, or not world hunger, U.S. hunger ending by 2030 in just eight years. Is that possible? Well, if you're wondering where that $8 billion is going, I'll give you the breakdown right here. At least $2.5 billion of the $8 billion in new commitments will go to startup companies focused on finding solutions to hunger and food insecurity. More than $4 billion will go to philanthropy philanthropy efforts to improve access to nutritious food, promote healthy 
healthy choices and increase physical activity. Uh, so yeah, will, will this actually work? I guess we'll have to wait and see 2030 if anyone uh, is still suffering from hunger in the US. Uh, speaking of which, food stamps, states extending uh, SNAP emergency allotment money through October of 2022. So if you're on SNAP and wondering if your state is going to extend this, uh, I'll let you know the states right here. So as of September 23rd, 2022, the USDA had granted waivers uh, to the following states to extend their emergency allotments through October of oh, October of 2022. So those are Alabama, uh, District of Columbia, Louisiana, Maine, New Jersey, New Mexico, North Carolina, Oregon, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. Uh, so those are the states extending it. And then you could still be owed $3,600 from unclaimed $3.7 billion pot. How to check if you're missing it. So if you did not receive any stimulus checks or the, um, or I'm sorry, the child tax credits, uh, then there is a way that you could still claim those. So uh, what, what it's saying here is payments went out on a monthly basis from July to December 2021 and 300 for kids under the age of six, 250 for kids age six to 17. And basically you go to the, um, to the website, obviously you have to see if you're qualified and you, uh, so this can be done on a form at 1040 while doing on the same on the uh, 1040 schedule 8812 basically if you did not get all of your child tax credit then that's how you do it the 1040 8812 uh, there's still a way you could claim it if you did not receive your child tax credits basically what it's saying here and then hundreds of thousands of americans can receive a direct payment worth up to 650 dollars so this is in pennsylvania is offering direct payments worth on up to $650. Uh, and this is a form of a child tax credit. Uh, or actually, no, sorry, this is something else. Never mind. All right. Forget what I just said. Uh, all right. In order to receive a rebate, you must be 65 or older or receive disability benefits. You must have paid rent or property taxes in the last year and meet a set of income requirements. And the income requirements are as follows $35,000 per household for homeowners and 15,000 per household for renters. And uh, yes, yeah, so I guess if you qualify, then it depends on your level of household. And uh, so making zero to $8,000 a household could earn a maximum rebate of $650. Uh, 8,000 to 15,000 household could receive $500 in cash and 15,000 to 18,000 you get an extra $300 and then 18,000 to 35,000 you get $250. So yeah, that's how it works with those rebates going on in Pennsylvania. And then when it comes to what's going on with inflation and when is it going to be uh, you know, stopped or what could be done about it, uh, take a look at this video clip right here. Joining us now, Congressman Jason Smith from House Ways and Means and former White House Deputy Chief of Staff Carl Rove. Okay, we've got to move on to this. Congressman, the hurricane is hitting right as the nation is in a recession. And Wall Street warns the Federal Reserve is literally breaking the financial markets in the U.S. economy with over-the-top rate hikes. What do you think? I'll tell you, Americans are struggling. They're struggling to put food on their table, clothes on their backs, and gasoline in their cars. And, and you look at this administration, uh, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, for the longest time, they were denying inflation. Then they were dismissing it, and now they're trying to downplay it just because they have an election six weeks from today. They, they see the writing on the wall. Their spending practices has caused the highest inflation in 40 years, and now they're trying to, trying to downplay it. It's, it's, it's unacceptable, but Americans, they see right through it. Carl, what do you think to the congressman's point? I mean, we've got Jeremy Siegel of the Wharton Business School. Carl, he's saying the Fed was wrong on money printing, and it's wrong now, that the Fed should not try to out Volcker Paul Volcker. Wall Street is really alarmed by unusually massive and rapid moves in the bond market. What do you think? Well, I'm, I'm with the congressman. Let, let's go back to where this came from. Inflation is a result of too much money uh, chasing too few goods. And what did, the, what did this administration do? It added nearly $5 trillion 
and is in demand through additional spending, starting with the American Rescue Plan and, and uh, most recently ending with uh, the student loan uh, bailout. And uh, so we got we got five trillion dollars more in demand. And, and today they had a White House meeting and he summoned the senior officials in the government to discuss this. And he said, we're going to have plans to uh, save families money and lower costs. And what did they say? We're going to have airlines required to disclose the extra fees in advance. So when you book a ticket, you know how much more you're going to be charged for your baggage. I mean, really, that's going to offset a lot, I bet, of the five trillion dollars in additional demand. So it strikes me we've got both the Fed and the and the administration. Uh, off on the wrong track here. The, the one that we can we can do something about most immediately is to stop the spending that this administration is is engaged in. Yeah, and, I mean uh, we've got a global it, supply shortage. To Carl's point, we have a global supply shortage. The energy policy of the Biden White House is incredibly inflationary, Congressman. To Carl's po point, in so many ways to shut down that supply too. Paying people not to work during the pandemic, labor shortages. But to Carl's point, Congressman, the president did hold a White House event yesterday on how to save money from inflation after he held a mission accomplished party just two weeks ago celebrating the Inflation Reduction Act that Wharton, CBO, Moody says is not going to have any impact. Watch the president yesterday. Because what's inflation? Inflation is at the end of the month. Do you have less money in your, from your paycheck or more money from your paycheck? Congressman, why is he doing an explainer on inflation? I mean, real wages have gone down the fastest in 40 years under Biden. This administration is out of touch with reality. Real wages are down 4.3 percent since Joe Biden's taken the oath of office. Inflation has gone up 13.7 percent since Joe Biden's taken the oath of office. So what are your thoughts on that? It seems that the only party talking about inflation and helping out the economy is the Republicans. So if you're wondering why I'm constantly showing the Republicans on inflation and, and money and things like that, it's because they're the only ones talking about it and that's basically the subject of these videos to let you know what is going on in the economy and how it affects you and your wallet so haven't really heard the democrats talking much about it mainly it's the republican side uh, but anyways if you appreciate how i get straight to the point show you the facts show you the sources subscribe to the channel and that is all the news that i have for you today to hopefully cheer you up a bit Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi guys, this is Bella. This is the tip of the day. I want to tell you one thing that you should do. When, when you when you want to do something, you have the power to do whatever you want. Unless one thing, you believe in yourself. That's the only trick. <laughs> so that's all I wanted to tell you for today. Bye. This is the Bella. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all of your support. Prayers go out to everybody affected by the tropical storm slash hurricane Ian. Uh, it's getting crazy. And anyways, if you want to check out any of my other videos, my other channels, click right up here. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Be safe. Thank you for watching.